rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Columbus Clippers and the Reno Aces. Stepping up is Gabriel Arias. He will lead this one off today. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. Ball, two strike. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three foot out for out number one. The left field. Next, it'll be Tyler Krieger as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not ball. Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more Two pop strike. hitting right-handed. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe Down not ball. that Three far two. in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. The 3-2 pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Next to hit, Nolan Jones. One ball and two strikes to count. Here comes the one two. He's taken high, but for a called strike three. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking, strike three. Now to the plate, Nick Heath. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One one home. It's a fastball that misses. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Playing two balls, two strikes. The two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So here is Alec Thomas. Batting second. One out, nobody on. Alec Thomas. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And it's fouled away. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled off. He'll try again. One, two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. A swing and a high drive to right center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next, nice. Tristan English. Looking to get on base and keep this Tristan. first inning alive. English. Chopped weakly to the left. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder giving chase. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. The right fielder. In now, Seth Beer fouled away. One and two. Here it is. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. Now the payoff pitch home.
and That's that misses for Take ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So next to hit is George Valera. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch takes that one for strike two on the inside corner. Slap hard the opposite way. And a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The designated hitter. Ernie. Into the box, Ernie Clement. And this is taken for a cold strike. And he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. And there's your first out. So now here is Ryan LaFarnway looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Ben Deluzio. The 1 1. Now a swinging bunt. Here comes the one two ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there. But this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions. He could go in right here. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. That exists. The catcher. Jamie. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Fastball too high, ball four. Next to dig in, Andy Young. Bottom of the second here with no score. Can't ball. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. All even now, two and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Batting it, the third baseman. The one two. Ball. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches. And ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. <laughs> Perdomo. Perdomo. Grounder down the line at third. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Ready now is Aaron Braccio, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Long run for the center fielder, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap, and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that at the plate now, Gabriel Arias. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. One out and a runner on second base. I 
traffic in there at the letters. One and two now. One ball, two the shots. offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now batting the third baseman, Nolan Jones. And stepping in, Nolan Jones. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if they'll fish. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And oh, oh. whoa, Take awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Now that brings up Josh Naylor. Two on, two out for him here in the third. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. No. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you two want ball. to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. From the stretch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Next to bat will be Nick Heath as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ball. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Grounded to first. He's got it. And there's one away. So stepping in is Alec Thomas. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-1. One, one. That's up. Ball two. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. The first baseman. So next to bat will be Priston English. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly... Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. Two as the breaking ball misses inside. Two One strike. Two and two. Playing two balls. Two I think strikes. it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Thomas has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number now one. The center field and now here is George, George Valera. Valera. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. He oh, loses oh, him on it. ball four. Next will be the designated yeah, hitter, Ernie the Clement. Designated he went down on strikes Ernie. in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Yep. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two. Swing and a line drive. That 
Mike gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now battle. The catcher. Brian LaVarnway. Into the box now. Ryan LaVarnway. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Now back. Second base. Aaron. Standing in now. Aaron Braccio. Ball. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. The bat, number 13, shortstop. In now, Gabriel Arias, Arias hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here comes the one, two. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. And the second run will come across to score as they take the lead here, four to two. Now back, left field. To the plate now, Tyler Krieger. Lined but speared on a hop. And there's out number two. Next, it'll be Nolan Jones. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Nolan Jones. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Seth Beer. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety. And right now, this field is getting sloppy, wet, man. And I don't know how much more rain this field can take. He's falling behind now. Three and one. A three-one count. Tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Now batting, catcher, Jamie And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Now a throw over and the runner back safely. the 2-1 pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Riley Smith, a six-foot, one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number 46. And now, Josh Naylor. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now back the right field. Daniel Johnson. Stepping in now, Daniel Johnson. On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. So now to the play, now George back. Valera. The center field. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And no. this ball runs away for ball two, two, two and one. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. 
Now back. Striding forward now is the DH. Ernie Clement. He doubled earlier in the game. One for two to this point. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Now at the plate, here is Andy Young. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 1-1. He's in there for strike number two. Ball two. Ball two. Wow, that was a pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. And another foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. And there's one down now. Next to hit is now Drew pass. Ellis. Third and remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Yeah, not fooled by that breaking ball in his last A.B. at all. He jumped all oh. over it. It's such a good feeling as a hitter when you know you're picking up the secondary stuff right out of the pitcher's hands. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Fouled away. Another one two delivery. To two Ball. balls and two strikes now. Two, two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Fouled off. And he missed full with count. it here, so now it's a full count three and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. The 3-1. Swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The center so it's back to the top nine. of the order now. And that'll bring up Nick Heath. Heath. The 1-1. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And now it'll be the catcher, Ryan LaVarnway. The 1-1. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Next, here is Aaron Bracho. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A Out. lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now the one and one pitch. to his name in this one. Digging in will be Alec Thomas. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. 
He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Popped him up. Naylor is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now Stepping in next, Tristan English. One for two, including a double back in the first. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. One strike. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in next, Seth Beer. 0 for 2 for him to this point. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. Weak grounder back to the mound. Over to first, and that retires the side. Now to the plate, here is Tyler Krieger. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. 1-1. Ball. 2-1. Out to the gap in right center. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The batter, the third baseman, Jones. So now to the plate, Nolan Jones. One and two. Two strikes. Hard sinker misses two and two. Playing two balls, two strikes. As a look, now the pitch. Down is Every Three base balls, runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Thomas is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And now in the box, Josh Naylor. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Oh, and he misses it. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now batting, right fielder. Daniel. At the plate now, Johnson. Daniel Johnson. But this is speared by the first baseman, and they will apply the tag between first and second. It's a double play, and just like that, the side is retired. Now at the plate is Ben Deluzio. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. 1-1. Hard hit ball to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time. One away. Striding in is Jamie Ritchie. He was a double play victim last time around. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Andy Young will be next. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full, Down three and two. Three, two. Now the payoff pitch home. And oh. we're off the close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now so now into the box base. is Andy Young. Andy. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout yeah. in this one. Fouled away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, George Valera. Looking to drive.
drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next up, Ernie Clement. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The one two. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And there are two away now. Stepping in once again is Ryan LaFarnway. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and two now as that one's fouled off. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Perdomo is there to make the catch and the side is retired. James Karinczak is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 99. Now in the box, Drew Ellis. It was a walk in his last trip. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Peraldo Perdomo struck out in his last trip to the plate. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. And he fouls this one off. Another one two and it's fouled away. Again a one two. Ball. Got to find a way to scratch at least two. one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And it's another king. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief out. How about it? So the batting order turns over now and set to go Nick Heath. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Fouled off. Ball. Lays off two and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2 one more time. Two out, nobody on. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's following off some tough pitches. 2 2 count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Stefan Kreitman enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman Aaron Braccio. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next up is Gabriel Arias. He's got one hit in four at bats. The 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Here's the pitch. Now here's 
a fly ball well hit looking up is the left fielder and that ball will stay fair and it's gone a home run. Into the box now Tyler Krieger pulled toward right center field. Around second he's on his way to third the relay throw well, he there. is in hey. there with a triple. Now batting third baseman Nolan Jones. In now Nolan Jones changes up on oh. him but that's in the dirt for a ball. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Curveball, and he thought it was strike three two. One. Instead, it goes to three and one. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Runners are at first and third, one away. And two strikes now. Here comes the one two. Swing and a little tapper. Here's another one two. No. Two ball. Two strikes. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Now, that now right it'll field. be Daniel Johnson. Daniel he was a double play victim Johnson. last time around. The 1-1 one, one is in there for the second strike. One, two. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times or do I have oh. to sit on something else? Two balls and two strikes now. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a liner, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Bounce towards the second baseman. Knee high, he barehands it. Touche, sir. Ben Crown, the lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 41. Into the box, Alec Thomas. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. I mean, that's just left on left crime right there. He could go to that pitch whenever he wants in this type of matchup. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting. First base. Now to bat. Tristan Chris English. Dan. He's got a hit in three at English. bats to this point. Oh. Fastball called strike. One and two. Play 12. One, two to count. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The first and they're an out away two gone here in the ninth. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Seth Beer he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Two ball one strike. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straight away right. Johnson is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Six to two, the final total today. The Columbus Clippers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Shane Bieber takes home the win. Number 25 was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com.
the final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Clippers, six runs, 11 hits, one error, they left 10 men on base. For the Aces, two runs on just two hits, no errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.